What's going on guys? It's me, Bikiribox12 here with another Realm of the Mad God guide video. And today we're going to be doing the Warrior. He is considered one of the most broken classes in the game in terms of DPS. Um, some people like the Knight a whole lot better. They feel like they can do a lot more, but we're going to stick to the Warrior. I'll, I'll, I might do a character comparison guide in, in the future, um, but right now we're going to stick to the Warrior. Now, instead of talking about his gear right off the bat, I'm going to talk about his stats instead. Because often whenever I talk about gear, I refer to the stats constantly. So this will be a more understandable way of explaining the character. So already we have a whopping 75 attack. <laughs> huh? What? Yeah, that's right, 75 attack. If you didn't already know, <laughs> the warrior uh, has the highest attack of all the melees in the game. Even if you pally buff, um you'll still, like, the warrior will be doing, I, I believe, the same amount of damage. I'm not too sure. The paladin could be getting more DPS in, but obviously if the warrior buffs, well then, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, paladin. Then we have 50 speed, which is average for every melee and most characters in general. And once we get to his helmet, you'll see, uh, you'll see why. Uh, right after that, we have 75 vitality, so it rivals that of the knight in HP regeneration, unlike the Paladin, uh, who only has 40, but that's only because he has, you know, the seal that replenishes his HP. And then 25 death, because, you know, Knight is unique, it's the only class that will ever have anything but 25 death, so we're just gonna keep it at that. And then 50 dex, once again, once we get to his helmet, you'll see why. You probably already know why, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. And then finally, 50 wisdom, um, average, the warrior doesn't exactly need too much wisdom. I find myself always having full mana unless I get quieted. Um, so not really, uh, not really an issue there. And now that we know his stats, let's jump right into his gear and why those stats matter to his gear. All right. So if you notice my inventory, I have one acclaim, C sword, and D blade. Now, like all, I think that that's the sword amount that you'll be carrying for all of them. Three swords. I never usually carry a stone sword. Um, maybe on my paladin and my warrior. Never a knight. It's not very not very good on a knight because of his uh, dex and attack. It's just, uh, nah. <laughs> I'll do a knight guide eventually and explain why. Uh, but warrior, stone sword is good on uh, at times because if you buff and you get pally buffed, you can do um, roughly a thousand damage with it. It's, it's incredible. It's, man, beautiful. But generally, I'll be using the Acclaim, because it's, you know, it's a, it's an Acclaim. I mean, that is that is the definition of divinity. It's, it's an amazing sword. You do about 500 damage with it, pure attack alone, not even a buff. So, it's incredible. D-Blade, you use uh, for enemies that have less than 20 def, or 20 def or below, so you're gonna use them in Godlands. So fun in Godlands. Um, and for, you know, low-level bosses and minions and dungeons, although I do not recommend um, deblading Septavius. That is how my 6'8 Paladin died. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, good times, good times. So the sword that you're going to be using the most is the Acclaim, or the Sky Splitter, or Archon, or D-Soul, whatever you're using. Um, that, that's going to be the majority of it. And the only reason for that is because it does the most damage. If you're going to attack something and you, you're a warrior, that 75 attack is going to give you a major buff. But, there are times whenever D-Blade would get you more damage. I wouldn't recommend doing that on Oryx. You can, you'll probably still get your damage in because you're a warrior and you're awesome. Um, but, I prefer a claim. I like to use D-Blade because it's cool. And I like Sea Sword for variety. Nothing else, unless it's like Oryx Phase 2. Even then, it's like, pfft, really? I don't know. So that's my input on the sword choice for the warrior. Now let's talk about his helmet, his special ability. There are two helmets in the game, the two best helmets in the game that you can use. The first one is the Great General Helm, G-Gen, as we call it. It's silver, it looks like a steel helm, but it has a little red, little piece of fluff hanging off to symbolize its generalness. And what it does is for six seconds, you are speedy, which is a double of your speed. So if you have 50, like what the warrior has, boom, 100 speed for six seconds. And you're also going berserk. So uh, I'm not sure of the increase of dex. It's definitely not double dex. Um, I, I don't know the number, but your dex is increased. And so is everybody around you. 
Uh, I believe it's also within six squares. And then Jug is within four squares. I'll, I'll say that in a second. So now you can see why the Warrior only has 50 decks and not like 75 or even 60. It would just be in an... It, it would be freaking insane. It would be the best class in the game for getting damage in. That's why I'm a little bit uh, on the fence of why they gave it 75 attack. I mean, she's great. Anybody who has a warrior is like, yeah, all right. You know, awesome class that I have. Um, but it does make the game a little bit harder for everybody to get drops. Um, which, you know, once again, I'm going to bring this up. Is the point of realm to get drops? I don't know. The, the point of the game is whatever you make it to be. But um, new players that want to get drops won't be able to if you go in and bring your awesome 8-8 warrior to the scene and just wreck <laughs> so that's the downside to the warrior is there a downside yes there is i'll get to that in a few moments let's talk about jug the helm of the juggernaut drops from both the hermit god and the sphinx the actually the only two places where you can get the same white bag um from two different gods besides in ink pretty uh pretty miraculous and it's the most like wanted ut uh enough fun facts all right, so what Jug does, it gives you plus five speed, which is kind of odd because G Gen's the one that gives you speedy, and then usually what I do is after boosting, I'll swap to Jug, so now I have 105 speed. It's like they were made for each other. It's kind of cool. And also, while you boost with um, Jug on, you go berserk for four seconds with also four squares around you, so it's less than G Gen, less duration, and less window of boosting. But you get armored for four seconds, and what armoring is, is your defense is doubled for whatever duration, in this case, four seconds. Wow, double? So let's say you have 25 death, boom, 50 instantly. And that's not even including armor and ring. Some people say that it's better than Oreo. I think that they're equal because Paladin and Warrior are completely different classes, and I think that, you know, Jug should be for the Warrior and Oreo should be for the paladin i think it was perfect the way that it is and nobody should change that and finally armor a crop the best one for the warrior you can i mean i've actually seen some people use res on it the resurrected warriors armor ah uh, like i said before the warrior is not really a mana heavy class you're not going to be wanting more mana and less defense i feel like i would rather have that extra what is it seven death yeah, I think it's 7 death. I, I would rather have 7 extra death and less mana than vice versa. I just I just don't like res on the warrior. I just don't think that it's necessary at all. Paladin or knight, but not warrior. It's kind of like how stone sword is good on both pally and warrior, but not knight. So a crop, definitely. CC, maybe. Maybe, because the dex um, subtraction from CC doesn't really matter whenever you boost. More death. So... It's personal preference up till now. Speaking of personal preference, rings. I love Pyrrha on the warrior. More attack, more DPS, good lord. As if the warrior needed more DPS. And then four death, it always helps. Um, some people really like Nile because it gives you more decks and that also adds to the um, DPS-ness. Um, but in my opinion, Pyrrha is always an awesome ring. Um, XAHP actually is pretty good on the warrior too. It makes you a little bit more tanky, but uh, I like Pyrrha. I do. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. This has been Tawar's Top Tips, uh, The Warrior Guide. Uh, leave a comment, uh, rating, subscription, whatever you want to do, uh, and I'll be doing another guide, hopefully, sometime in the future. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright, see ya!